afternoon. My name is David Grothes. I wrote this, um, this titled speech called Prayer for the United States on January 21st, 2017. My prayers and thoughts for the United States, the future president, and each American citizen. The government has very urgent and important duties to fulfill, which have not been looked upon with due respect. The foundation of any nation is fiscal solvency, loyalty to the rule of law, and securing the safety and liberty of each citizen. Our nation has disrespected the rule of law with disdain. Our nation has violated fiscal reasoning. Our nation has used taxes to stop life. Our nation has undermined the respect and dignity of American women by permitting vile men to exploit them with impunity by making pornography and inside strip clubs. Our nation has permitted our president to use our troops to further corporate and political ends, which have caused the loss of life and anger of millions of foreigners. Why are illegals permitted to exist on American soil when we have more than 150,000 police officers who need to enforce the Constitution by securing our common defense, which is our founding premise, which our government was built upon? Any public official who thinks differently needs to be put in jail or deported for failure to uphold the rule of law. Each citizen needs to remember that government owes them nothing but that they follow the rule of law and they pro protect the individual rights of each citizen's pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness while in a constant state of moral and ethical virtue. George Washington stated that we ought to stay out of foreign entanglements. Parents are to be responsible for disciplining and guiding their children with prudence, virtue, and patience. Remembering to establish boundaries, discipline, and self-control. Holiness, not necessarily happiness, is a righteous goal for a young child. Respecting authority, respecting the home, and each member of the family are essential aspects of, of any successful home. I pray for the rule of law to be implemented, fiscal solvency to be maintained, foreign entanglements to be ended, and new laws to prohibit any woman from being exploited in the United States. Anything less is utter failure and shame on every American government employee and citizen. May God bless a repented people and punish any nation which permits and sanctions harm to any woman through the sale of her dignity, during pornography, or in, involved in strip clubs. Pornography and strip clubs must be outlawed. America can never be great when there are sanctioned businesses which undermine the dignity of American women for profit at any time. You have a great day, and God bless you.